this one might be a little bit difficult for many of us to stomach so I do want to remind people that this is one reason why this is happening don't get upset if it's not for you simply click somewhere else the question here is why are there so many people at this time during this transition period having financial problems and why are so many barely surviving first we need to explain the earth is in a transition period she is going from what we call the third dimension into the fifth dimension there are ways of living in the fifth dimension that we do not have yet for instance there is no need for security in the fifth dimension we just live in the now in the today and because we here on earth are obsessed with security many of us are losing this security so we can let go let go of the need for security and let go of the fear for the future we have a fear if we don't know the future if it's not guaranteed and we cannot go into the fifth dimension with this fear and with these needs to know the need to know is what is making us so unhappy many times there are many things that are that are making us unhappy but one of the major things is our need to know now many people are losing their jobs many people cannot make ends meet because they are also supposed to do something else they are supposed to become self-employed you might think I don't know what I'm going to do it doesn't matter what you do again in the fifth dimension most of us will be self-employed no matter what you do you, you will be going to the companies and you will be saying this is the service I offer this is another way of being self-employed and because when we are safe when everything is good we never go down that path of self-employment because we are afraid in case it doesn't work so our soul is bringing us situations where the other way stops working for us so that we can be forced to go into self-employment many people will have questions and the first question is always I don't know what I am meant to do you know what you do know what you're meant to do if you listened to what you like and how you feel but the reason many of us do not most of us do not go into self-employment is because of our fear of failure so the soul says well let me get them out of this cushy job and then they have no choice but go into self-employment in some cases we're not necessarily meant to go into self-employment but we are meant to go and find a job we like instead of just settling at any job for the paycheck in other cases we are meant to live a little more simply this is not the right way but we live beyond our means and this is not the right way living beyond our means so we are going through this difficult period so we can become a little more simple so we can simplify our lives that's another reason this is happening it really has very little to do with the greedy banks or the greedy CEOs the greedy corporations very 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 little they are playing a role 
One day you're going to thank these greedy bankers and these greedy corporations that are sucking your blood. You're going to thank them because they are giving you an opportunity to get out of this and to become self-employed or to get out of the, a cushy job or what used to be cushy and easy and to go do a job you really like to express more of who you really are. This is why so many people at this time are having financial problems and some of them are barely surviving. There are a few other things too, but this might sound like a judgment. We have too many people buying things they don't need. And this is one way of them to stop doing this. We really don't need too much to live and to be happy. We really don't. But because we don't want to look in, we don't want to realize that happiness relies on me and me alone. I don't want to see this, so let me go shopping. Let me buy things that will make me look beautiful so that others can love me and then I will be happy. And it never happens. And we get into the rat race and it's a vicious cycle. We get into debt and then we cannot leave our jobs because we are in debt. It would really help us if we start realizing that happiness comes from within, meaning only we are responsible for our happiness. No one else, no government, no materialism, there's nothing wrong with materialism, do not judge it, but it's that our happiness does not depend on it. No boyfriend or husband or wife or girlfriend, just us, only we can make us happy, otherwise we are faking it. And because this dimension that we are going into soon, scientifically we call it the fifth dimension, we can't fake it there. So as a collective, humanity as a whole has attracted these problems so that a larger number of us could find us, could find ourselves. So this might sound really mean, what I'm going to say right now, but be happy if you have financial problems. This means your soul is trying to say, hey, hey, I'm here. I'm over here. No, I'm not in that gold American Express. I'm over here. Again, there is nothing wrong with shopping or credit cards or anything. But our problem is we lived beyond our means in the hope we will find happiness. It has nothing to do with greed and it has nothing to do with I don't know what I want or I want it all and I want it now. Why not? It has to do with we didn't want to find us because we are terrified of the real us in case we don't like us. This is why we spend so much money trying to get others to like us. So these financial difficulties will help billions of people around the world look in. There is a, a movement going on at the moment, at this time, end of 2014, going into 2015. It's been going on for a few years actually, of simplicity and of minimalism. It's not necessarily that minimalism will make you happy, but the opposite makes you very unhappy. So it will help 
if you can unclutter a little bit. It does help, it really does. But I don't want to say that this is the right way. For me, it did wonders. I've been living like this for many years and I've been very happy simply not because I'm a minimalist, not because I live out of a suitcase, but because I have nothing to think about, nothing to worry about, nothing to worry in case I lose, in case I lose my house or my job or my stuff. I'm not worried because I don't have any stuff to lose. I don't have a house to lose. So yes, if you can become a minimalist, it will be easier for you to transist. But again, I don't want to say that this is the way and that this is how it should be. Whatever works for you is the right way. But go to YouTube and type in minimalist or something similar. And you will get a lot of videos there that will give you ideas. Ah, it will also help you to stop blaming the banks. They are doing us a favor, a very big favor. Because when humans are comfortable, they never change. And now we need to change. So a lot of us, not all, but a lot of us are losing our comfort so that we can make the change. And again, if you have lost your comfort, be happy because you are on the way up. Your soul wants you to go to the next level of evolution. The next level of evolution is going to be conscious. It's not necessarily physical. Our bodies will change. They will become lighter. They will look lighter. They will look younger. They will look better. And they will be much, much healthier. But our next evolutionary step is an evolutionary, is a step in consciousness. And if you have lost your comfort, you are on the way up. Just remember this. I know you might say, listen, I don't have money for my children. I know. I do, but we are in a transition period and transition is not always easy. As an old saying says from, I think it was the 60s, the civil rights movement, keep your eyes on the prize. The prize is more consciousness inside your body. And then you will have no more problems. Simply keep your eyes on the prize.